Now that you know how you can arrange all the grid items in your grid, I wanted to show you an alternative way to do this, um, which is maybe also more readable and allows you to do also different kinds of layouts in some cases. So let's say for example that item one here, I don't really care where it starts, but I always wanted to spend two rows. Now it doesn't necessarily have to start in row one or row two and so on. So I don't want to really fix that, but I always want to make sure that it spends two rows. So if I go ahead here and target item one, so grid with a dot diff and child one, then what would I do if I wanted to have grid row, something basically, and then something plus two. Now this is not the way I can write this in CSS. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna say auto and that's gonna basically let the grid container decide which row to place this in. And now what I can do is I can use the span keyword and say span two. Now this way, if I save this, item one is now gonna take up two rows and I'm not specifying where it should start, so what the starting row is, but wherever it starts, it's gonna end two rows later, or in other words, it's gonna spend two rows. Now what I like about this is that it's also very readable because of the spend keyword, and it also allows you to have more flexible layouts because you can leave one of them open. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. You can also specify it should be starting in row one and spending two rows. And then this would be just equivalent to saying one and three. So in that case, you can also use this syntax. But of course, if you just find span two to be more readable, that's also what you can do. But it's especially helpful in combination with the auto positioning. So this really does increase the kind of layouts you can create with grid. So it's an important thing to remember and also very nice part of the CSS grid specification as I think. All right, so that's just the alternative. I encourage you to try this out for yourself and then I'm gonna see you again in the next lecture.